So let's go with the Okay. This is a video tutorial of the technique. We can call uh, this is a video just technique. This is the kit you can see. There is uh, two disposable camera, one at 20cc backlog syringe, two 60cc syringe, two lock, and uh, 10cc syringe. Okay, let's go. This is the device. We have a cylinder connected with two hoses. The hose is connected to the blue filter, is connected to the saline solution. Then we have the bag in which all the residue, the waste will flow. Check it is connected to the hose connected to the gray filter. Okay, please stop. This is the device, this is the cylinder. Okay, this is the cylinder. We have uh, at the top uh, two filters, the gray and the blue. Okay, with two hoses. Okay, let's go. Inside we have steel spheres. We put all it, we hold it uh, vertically in this way, and uh, open the two hoses. Uh, let stop, 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 and uh, let the saline solution flow through the blue. Let the saline solution flow through the blue filter to fill all the seal. It is. Uh, important to hold it vertically in this position with the blue down in, because in this way the air bubble will flow away through the gray filter. Okay. Then we prepare the client solution. We put two vials of uh, lidocaine and one of adrenaline inside 500 milliliters of saline solution. And then we put inside the 60cc dual lock syringe, as it's shown. This is a disposable cannula, 17 gauge, to infiltrate the subcutaneous cervical tissue. To make an incision in the lateral abdominal wall. Possible canal, we infiltrate the subcutaneous tissue in this way. It's a pretty easy procedure, just one, two times to make good feeling to perform. We usually infiltrate uh, from uh, 120 to 180 cc for each side of the abdomen. It depends. It depends on the amount of uh, tissue of the patient. Okay, then we wait. Uh, we wait. Uh, it's three to eight ten minutes, but it's better fifteen minutes, and uh, to to allow a good harvest of adipose tissue. Okay, and then with uh, the other disposable cannula that is a thirteen gauge, connect to the twenty cc backlog syringe, we harvest the adipose tissue in this way. Procedure. Okay, then we transfer the adipose tissue from the backlog syringe into 10 cc syringe, as it's shown, and leave them for the cant in this way. At the end, we remove the solution that is stratified. And we 
reprinted inside the device. In this case, the blue up and the gray down. We close the blue holes and open the gray and uh, put inside the cylinder the adipose tissue harvested. We can put until we reach almost the... Until we reach the first line. The first line. Until, until we reach this line. We do not reach this. Okay. Then we close both and start to shake for first close, start to shake for 30, minutes, 30 seconds and then open both and uh, leave the saline solution to flow and to clean the adipose tissue. And during this procedure, the steel microsphere will microfracture the adipose tissue. Then the gray up and blue down. Close both, connect the 10 cc syringe from, uh, to the gray and blue. In this way, we open the blue and fill the syringe connected to the blue. In this way, then close and push inside the cylinder the solid solution and the final product will flow inside the syringe connected to the gray one. Leave it for the count as previously. Remove the saline solution stratified and then transfer it inside one cc syringe in this way. We are injecting uh, double layer, I mean, uh, first in the muscular layer, and then when we perform the muco mucosa and submucosal plethora, we inject also the final product. Uh, stages but now we are used to use PDS for the mucosa mucosa part. Okay. 